hello and welcome to today's video today is going to be the last video or this video is going to be the last video of this year last video of 2023 so it's a good time oh nice okay so it's a good time to look back at 2023 which was kind of an eventful year but uh, we'll touch up on that later on in terms of total kilometers um, I've done almost a little over 4600 kilometers this year which is uh, a lot more uh, than in 2022 and that has of course everything to do with the Dutch thousand we spent yeah, we've uh, done the Dutch thousand a lot of videos on that uh, over the past year but also you know we had a bit of preparation did a bit more of general riding uh, than the last year uh, to prepare for the Dutch thousand and actually was uh, one of the highlights uh, for this year we finished the Dutch thousand we didn't uh, crash on the Dutch thousand so all positive things um, on the Dutch thousand I also won the uh, mountain training for uh, the boat style mountain training which was really nice but it was also a bit of a slapstick event for us uh, I've not uploaded those videos yet, still need to work on them. Uh, but I, get, I will give you a bit of a highlight already. It started on Friday with a lot, and I mean a lot of rain. Uh, so much rain actually that uh, out of the, the complete group, I think we were 20 people, uh, two, two people crashed. Which unfortunately one of them was... Uh, was my father. But he didn't have any injuries uh, except for a few bruises. Uh, and a cranked ego of course uh, but the bike was totaled or totaled the bike was uh, damaged uh, so much that he couldn't uh, finish the weekend so that was, uh, was uh, a bummer and that happened al already after uh, two hours when we arrived upon the uh, the hotel Luke wanted to move his bike but that didn't work anymore the bike didn't want to start anymore uh, and what happened is that one of the two bolts that hold his, hold his uh, starting starter uh, the thread actually uh, worked itself loose uh, before there was a helicoil in it and that helicoil failed so he didn't do the he didn't uh, join for the ride on saturday so that out of the four guys uh, we were only with uh, two guys uh, riding so that was really you know a bit of a strange strange uh, weekend uh, the training itself was really really good uh, if you've never done any uh, additional training besides uh, getting your motorcycle license I would highly recommend, uh, re recommend to do that uh, you will learn so much ok it depends a little bit of course uh, how well the course uh, suits your riding level and uh, uh, whether it's actually a teaching exercise or whether the guys who can really ride and will teach you are that just for the fun but in my case I'm always quite comfortable on the bike um, but I learned an awful lot 2023 was also a year where Red Rhino had uh, needed some TLC <laughs> quite a bit so I had a bad battery that died that happened literally just uh, I think two weeks before we had the uh, motor style uh, mountain training um, I was not completely convinced it was just the um, the, the battery so what I also did is I replaced the alternator so there's now uh, more of a boost one in uh, that's usually used by the uh, by the police because they run a lot of additional electronics they have a heavier or a more powerful alternator so that's in this now as well probably also has to do something with the, the short rides I usually do uh, if I take a bike to work it's only five kilometers which might not be enough to fully charge the battery anymore during the ascension day trip with my father uh, after 50 kilometers my clutch cable broke I'm sorry for the wind by the way so I replaced the, the clutch cable but I also replaced the, the thruster bearing uh, on the clutch uh, there's a video on that uh, coming up still need to make that a little bit more on that later on uh, I had something else that broke oh yeah I also uh, also still need to make the video but I finally fixed the uh, fuel gauge uh, when I bought the bike 12 years ago it was not working it always annoyed me uh, but never took the time to fix it so that's what I've done uh, this year as well uh, yeah so 
good fun. Uh, it has affected a, a lot of uh, <laughs> wrenching on the bike as well, uh, besides the, the normal maintenance. Now, in terms of YouTube, it was actually, uh, in terms of subscribers, it's actually really nice here. Uh, a little over 200 additional subscribers, which means over the past year uh, the size of the channel almost doubled. I did not put out as many videos as I wanted. Uh, I did did produce 18 videos, but this one will be 19. Uh, but I tried to produce one every other week, but I did not manage to do that. Uh, I was quite busy at work this year. I hope that it will change next year, but I'm not a uh, uh, bit pessimistic in that respect. We'll see. Still, nice uh, amount of videos. A uh, little over 500 subscribers now. Um, as I mentioned, there are quite some videos that I still need to produce, which are shelved uh, the motor style. Mountain training is one of the, is uh, you know, two or three videos. You need to see how well the, the quality is. I've looked at it at all yet. Ascension's day. Uh, ah, we also did, uh, I also did a advanced riding course together with my father in uh, Lelystad. Uh, still need to produce that as well. That was in uh, April this year, so imagine. Uh, a few uh, videos on uh, mods and maintenance, like the, the fuel gauge, the thrust bearing, uh, well, I think that's, that's that. That's it. Um, if I look at the most popular videos, actually the, the video uh, that most viewed last year is the patio install my dad's bike, which uh, we did, I think, two years ago. This is really fun. Um, but quite closely followed by the suspension upgrade, so the hyperpro suspension uh, and the headlight modification. And actually, on the headlight modification, I will link it up here. I had quite a lot of uh, questions of uh, of people where to, where to find the bracket, how to do it, uh, where to find the, the the lamp or the headlight itself. So that was that was good fun. I like the interaction. You might be wondering why I'm riding a low ball. I touched already up on the fact that uh, my father, he crashed on uh, yeah, the weekend tour. Uh, but unfortunately the bike uh, <laughs> did not make it back to the Netherlands, let's put it that way. So he's currently out of the bike uh, and uh, he's also doubting whether he uh, will pick up the, the hobby again. For Luke, he didn't manage or didn't take time to uh, have his bike fixed yet. That is something for next year as well. Uh, because that the uh, one of the, the guys or one of the neighbors from the hotel where we stayed uh, was uh, actually a mechanic and he did a emergency fix with placing in another helicoil. But highly questionable that uh, gonna last very long as well. On Red Rhino I need to replace the right hand side, uh, the, the throttle body on the right hand side. It has been ticking uh, quite a lot uh, ever since I bought the bike. And uh, last time the me my mechanic called me with uh, synchronizing the, uh, uh, the body, the throttle body that uh, I actually had a hard time and I noticed in uh, on the trip in Germany that I did not have uh, the, the full power, I, I missed a, li the, the, a bit of the edge. So that needs to be replaced, uh, I'm not going to do that myself. I'm going to ask the mechanic to do that early next year. That brings us to the plans for next year. We, did not have, we have not planned a lot yet. Uh, we, will, we did uh, a roll for the Dutch Thousand again because we still have some unfinished business uh, at the Dutch Thousand trying to finish a complete thousand kilometers uh, over back roads we, I won't say cheated, but we did the last 50-60 uh, kilometers over uh, highway uh, I'm quite sure we will do, the, do another uh, weekend trip uh, in terms of timing, uh, that uh, <laughs> has not been discussed yet We'll see, uh, probably the Ascension's Day Tour will, uh, will do again as well. What else is planned for next year? Uh, well, fixing up uh, Luke's bike or modifying Luke's bike. Make it uh, off-road worthy. So I'm putting on... Oh. 
Zo, voeding aanzamen, zo'n kruisbars, uh, uh, smaddenstaf, maybe some uh, folk light, it's a light. Uh, Luke also has a second set of, uh, of rims for the bike, so we'll have, both of us will have uh, off-road and uh, all-road uh, set for uh, my bike. I will get some new, uh, some new tires. I currently have the Michelin Anarchy Adventures, which are really, really nice tires. But I also want to see what, uh, what's new. I, I think this is my third set of Anarchies uh, on this bike. I had the Anarchy, Anarchy 2 twice. And a uh, Metzler in between. Not a great fan of that. I think next, uh, next set will be um, the Lord Mutants. Uh, yeah, if we done all of those uh, those things and the, the logic next step is going to be to do a little bit of uh, Ted Trans Euro Trail in the Netherlands. Is it this one? No, it's not this one. No, it was not. Uh, that was the plan this year as well. Did not happen for several reasons. One of them being uh, very busy with other stuff. Uh, yeah, it's uh, one of the things I do want to do a lot more. Uh, going into the future. Uh, I've already started sourcing some of the additional uh, protection I want to wear. Because this suit is quite nice. Uh, it's an all better for all yeah all better suit or all season uh, gear. Uh, ventilation is quite okay. Uh, weather for waterproofing is quite okay. Protection is pretty good for uh, for a suit but yeah it doesn't stand up to the uh, protection you can get uh, for uh, in the terms of enduro protection so plenty of plans for uh, for next year i'm not i also would like to do another training with uh, with motor style i'm not sure if that will fit the uh, the schedule uh, but we'll see maybe it, maybe it does uh, yeah so there's not much uh, for me to say anymore. I think uh, 20, 2023 was, uh, as I say, eventful year. Oh yeah, there's one thing I forgot. Um, I do go to the, probably, as it looks like uh, now, I'm probably going to the uh, motorcycle exhibition in uh, Utrecht, or Utrecht, in the, in the as I said, we say that Jaarbeurt Halle. But fun to mention that uh, all the, the large companies are there again. Uh, that was not the case in the last few years. So it is now, so it's a good opportunity to have a look. So there's only one thing left for me to say. Uh, I hope you enjoyed all the videos throughout the year. If you did, put a thumbs up. I wish you and your family all the best uh, for uh, tonight, for New Year's Eve. And we'll see each other next year. Bye!